Hello people of the internet, Megan here and it's time for another video. So before I get any further, I will apologize for any noise you might hear in the background. It is obscenely hot outside. I had to turn the AC off already because it was too loud for filming. But I refuse to turn my desk fan off because it is freaking hot. It's like 100 degrees out with humidity. It's gross. I feel gross. This is staying on. So if you hear a noise in the background, that is why. So yeah, like the title suggests, this is another memory lane and today we're going to be talking about the Rugrats movie. So, this movie came out in 1998, so I was 6 or 7 when it came out. And I have vague memories of going to see this movie Thanksgiving Day. When we were kids, for a certain amount of time, there was a period where that was kind of a tradition. While dinner was cooking, Mom would take me and my brothers to see a movie. To kind of keep us occupied and out of trouble, out of the way. And it was something that she used to do when she was a kid, too. So it was kind of like a little tradition for a while. So yeah, we went to go see the Rugrats movie. I absolutely loved the show as a kid. This is one of those shows that I would like religiously watch as a kid. I've seen almost every episode, if not every episode. And I don't remember too much about this movie other than it was Dill's introduction to the series and Monkeys. Those are the only two things I remember. Dill was born and there are monkeys. So yeah, that's what I remember and it's time to refer to my notes from my thoughts during the movie. I think I almost forgot how cute the baby talk was, just how they would missay words. And as an adult now, I'm watching it, super cute. Holy crap. Not related to me watching this, but it just kind of hit me. It's like, this movie's been out for like 20 years. Oh my god. That's kind of freaky for me to be able to look back and say, yeah, I saw that movie when it came out for movies that have been out for 20 years. Oh my god. One note that I made for the movie animation, I wrote, I can't tell if it's good for what it is or not. I'm not sure if Rugrats deserved it. As much as I love Rugrats, I loved Rugrats. And typically, movies have better animation than TV shows. For the most but I was kind of shocked looking back and realizing this movie came out 20 years ago. This looks pretty good. Beginning of the movie, there is like a very near like slip of the word penis in some of Charlotte's dialogue. That was Angelica's mother's name, right? I didn't write her name down. And oh my god, one thing that I love about going back and watching old movies from childhood, it's just all the adult jokes that were slipped in that just totally went over kids heads at least i know this one went over mine and this is the first time i've rewatched this movie in like at least a decade decade and a half so it's like oh my god so that got a genuine like pause then laugh out of me oh my god adult megan agrees with drew like insurance and benefits are important you know, at one point in the movie, Drew was urging Stu to get a real job and not just invent stuff in his basement. Because now that he has a second kid on the way, insurance and benefits and stuff are kind of important. Like, as a kid, I remember signing with Drew like, no, he's fine, he doesn't need a real job, yada yada yada. Now as an adult, I'm like, no, he, he should get a real job. Like, I get following your dreams. I'm a huge supporter of following your dreams. But up to a point, you gotta be realistic about things, you gotta think about the future to a point, and if you have a family, you gotta consider them too, and yeah. Some of the delivery rooms in this fancy fancy hospital that Dee Dee was going to, like the farm and the underwater birthing thing, it's like, I remember being weirded out by those as a child, and even now as an adult I'm like, Okay, I'm all for you doing you when it comes to birthing experiences and more or less everything. But some of the things were also like, why? Also, re-elaborating all, all the jokes that I didn't get as a child. Just all the things that went over my head and just, it's insane. <laughs> it's insane what they got away with. I totally forgot there were musical numbers in the song. They were totally unneeded. But then again, kids movie, 
some songs don't hurt, but as an adult, like, they really didn't need to put musical numbers in this, like, at all. I forgot what a damn brat Angelica was. Like, I knew she was, like, bratty, but I forgot how bratty she could be. Like, holy crap. I also totally forgot Angelica's quest to find Cynthia. <laughs> I despised the reporter guy who was in this movie, and I was just cheering Benny on to just punch him in the face. Also, Benny is a fantastic friend. Just can't remember much of her from the series itself, but in this movie I'm just like, Go yes, I, I want you for my friend. Can I have you for an adult friend, please? And I forgot about the wolf. I thought the wolf was a thing. And it killed me a little bit to see the wol a wolf being portrayed as a villain in yet another movie. Just poor wolves in the bad rap they get. Betty taking freaking charge. Betty is goals. This net to no confuses me because I re can't remember what I'm referring to. Oh god, not this song. I hated this song in the movie. What song was that? Apparently I hated it so much I blocked it from my memory. The monkey song. The stupid witch doctor song. Yeah, I did not like that song as a kid. I still don't like it now. Then, poor Chucky doesn't get a break. Just... Out of all these babies, I am the Chucky in my group, I believe. Guys, I, are you sure we should be doing that? Just the bad luck. Everything. I am Chucky. <laughs> with the stupid scene, with the dramatic rain and thunder and the mushed banana baby food, that scene actually made me laugh. I know that was the aim, but as an adult, just the overdramaticness of it made me laugh. And... <laughs> I won't lie, I got teary with the Spike situation, thinking that he was dead. Definitely got a little emotional over that because I always get emotional over animals because animals are pure. Overall, my thoughts. You would think after all these shenanigans these kids get into, the parents would be a little more careful with their babies. Like seriously, in this movie alone they could have died like dozens of times. Overall, I did used to love this movie. I still enjoy it, but even with the nostalgia factor, it's probably not something I'd go out of my way to rewatch again and again as an adult. Like if a younger niece or nephew or second cousin or whatever, if I was watching them and they wanted to watch something like this, I'd happily sit down and watch it with them. I'd get a few laughs out of it, I'd get some enjoyment. I wouldn't be bored. But other than that, I probably won't sit down and rewatch this movie. Like, I did get some nostalgia happiness and feels, but not as much as I was expecting. Which is sad, because I loved this movie as a kid. But you know what? All in all, I'd rather be okay with an ch old childhood favorite than to go from loving it to hating it. So you know, there's that. And yeah, that is really all I have to say about the Rugrats movie. And that is it for this Memory Lane. If you have any further suggestions for Memory Lane videos for me to do in the future, be it a TV show, movie, snack food, whatever, let me know and I will get to it ASAP.